so embarrassing literally like can't eat on a dirt track and now I've shut down Centre Park holy oh, shit man I mean it's all you need isn't it morning guys oh so today is day three and I am doing the parks so not all of the parks I'm going to do Central Park give you a look around Central Park which I think will be nice and I'm also um going to show you Washington Park a bit cross contamination there from me hair and my beard but who cares I'm the same guy all over um yeah but there's thousands well there's not bad enough there's thousands there's a lot of parks in New York Madison Square Park Chelsea Park Union Square Washington State Park Tompkins Square Park there's quite a few open spaces in New York itself especially in Manhattan fun fact about Manhattan is when people locals especially um, talk about the city they're mainly talking about Manhattan even though New York is um, obviously the whole city the five boroughs let's have a look at these parks I'm at the East River East River Park and um, where the view behind me is unbelievable of the city of Manhattan the average rent in the city is three thousand six hundred dollars wow that is unbelievable so i've came to the east river city on my little scooter and um, just to let you know that it is a bit bumpy um but if you get a heavy duty scooter then you'll be absolutely fine it's um it's but it's big it's not as big as central park obviously uh, which we'll be seeing next it's got some lovely hotels around it i bet they're very expensive um but we'll we'll have a little look around Okay guys, from East River, we move on to the legendary, world famous Central Park. So guys, as you can tell, I'm on my wheels of steel, I'm on my scooter, and we're just rolling through Central Park. A park located near Manhattan measures 843 acres so this scooter better have enough petrol oh it's electric find me a plug so as we come down we end up in mid park and what you're looking at here is at the boating lake called conservatory water look how calm this is compared to the hustle and bustle of New York City we're moving on now Oh, I'm just enjoying myself, just chilling, you know. Um, oh, had a bit of a disaster, guys. I've actually broke down on my scooter, um, which is a little bit worrying. Um, so now I've got to get the taxi to come and get me. The police are here. Fuck. So, yeah, it's all happening. Um, and apparently, I can't get a new scooter until tonight, which is a bit of a nightmare because it's only 2 o'clock. And I've got the rest of the day foaming, absolutely foaming. Um, yeah, but it's so embarrassing. Literally, like can't eat on a dirt track, and now I've shut down Central Park. Holy shit, man! I mean, it's all you need, isn't it? Twenty-four hours later, guys, not one to be uh, put off by you know shutting down Central Park. I am here. It's day two of the parks. I'm sitting in the legendary Washington Park Square. Okay, okay. It's my dyslexia. It's not Washington Park Square. It's Washington Square Park. Sorry all you New Yorkers who are probably pulling your hair out at all my mistakes. 
Please bear with me, I think it was the heat. Now let me tell you a few things about Washington. Washington Park Square is a 9.75 acre public park in Greenwich Village, which is a neighborhood in the lower end of Manhattan. The place there is normally actually a fountain. In 1889, to celebrate the centennial of George Washington's inauguration, easy for me to say, as President of the United States, a large plaster and wooden memorial arch was erected over Fifth Avenue, just north of the park. The temporary plaster and wood arch was so popular, in 1892, a permanent arch designed by the New York architect Stanford White was erected, standing 77 feet and modelled after the Arc de Triomphe, which is built in Paris in 1806. Moving on guys, no rest for the wicked. Okay, this is impressive, this is very impressive. So this next park is actually called the High Line. So here we are, we are on the High Line. The High Line is a 1.45 mile long elevated line park greenway, which basically means it's a park that used to be a railway. It was created on the former New York Central Railroad on the west side of Manhattan in New York City. The High Line's design is a collaboration between James Corner, Field Operations, Dilla, Scofieldo and Renfo. Not forgetting Pio Udolf. So, I just want to say if you're in a wheelchair or again if you're in a scooter, then this is fully accessible to you and um, you have to access a lift and um, which is at the beginning and um, next to Hudson Park and um, that's Hudson Park there look at the view guys look at that view I would prefer the scooter to be a little bit higher so I could have a better view but you know I mean Daniel you have done well I mean I'm all for a good shrub a good evergreen and I think he's really pulled that off. Look at that. I'm all for a good plan there. I really am. So look at the view, guys. That's the Hudson River. So guys, if you are thinking about coming by wheelchair or by scooter, um, or you just can't manage the stairs, um, that's okay because you can get a lift, um, which is um, accessible at Gansfoot Street. Um, 14th Street, 16th Street, 23rd Street and 30th Street but you can also get on via street level um, which is accessible from a ramp at 34th Street so check that out if however you absolutely buzz off stairs then that thing in the distance that you've just seen maybe it's a pan back that let's just pause that so this monstrosity is called the Vessel it's designed by Thomas Heatherwick and it has 154 interconnecting open air staircases that lead to absolutely nothing. No good in your wheels to seal guys, unfortunately. Now I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of glass and a lot of mirrors. Now, obviously I was trying to check myself out in my scooter. But, you know, you can't say that because the, the mirrors are so high up. I mean, who were the mirrors for, guys? Just balanced out, of course, by the shrubbery. And that's a nice little oak tree. I don't know if it's an oak tree, guys. I don't. A sycamore. They're the only trees I know. Go with it. Go with it. So, as you can see, they see me rolling. It's quite, quite a tight space breathing. And there's little offshoots so you can go and chill out. Very cool place, I highly recommend it. So there you have it guys, that was a small fraction of some of the parks that are in and around Manhattan in New York, New York City. My highlight was the freedom to get around New York. The people of New York were so nice. So if you're thinking about coming to New York but you're worried about walking then I'll leave the links below to the scooter company that I got the scooter off and um, give them a ring, they drop it off free of charge at the hotels um, and you t 
two can get around, so don't you worry. Bye.